In this video, we are going to discuss the four chemical reactions that you will need to know for both external and internal respiration. Be sure that you can recognize both the formulas and the names to the following reactions. We will begin with external respiration. Remember that external respiration refers to oxygen from outside of the body crossing cell layers into our bloodstream. External respiration then refers to gas exchange between the lungs and the capillaries of the pulmonary system. Also, think about what we want to gain at the lungs and what we want to get rid of. Obviously, we want to gain oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. So what we know is this, oxygen diffuses across the walls of the alveoli and capillaries into the bloodstream where oxygen binds with hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin. Think of the hemoglobin molecule as the taxi that picks up various passengers in the bloodstream and delivers its passengers to where they are needed. Another passenger carried by hemoglobin is carbon dioxide. When hemoglobin binds to carbon dioxide, a compound of carb-aminohemoglobin is formed. Carb-aminohemoglobin is delivered to the lungs where the carbon dioxide is released from the hemoglobin molecule and diffuses out of the bloodstream into the alveoli so that it can be exhaled. Excess hydrogen ions are also carried to the lungs by hemoglobin. When hydrogen ions bind to hemoglobin, a molecule called reduced hemoglobin is formed. When reduced hemoglobin reaches the lungs, the hydrogen ion is released from the hemoglobin molecule and hemoglobin is now free to pick up oxygen. If hydrogen ions continue to be released in the capillaries around the lungs, the tissue would become highly acidic. So what happens to the excess hydrogen ions? The hydrogen ions are buffered by a molecule called the bicarbonate ion. When hydrogen ions bind to the bicarbonate ion, a molecule called carbonic acid is temporarily formed. Carbonic acid quickly breaks down into carbon dioxide and water, both of which diffuse into the alveoli and are exhaled. These are the four equations for external respiration that you need to know. If we simply reverse these four equations, you now have the equations for internal respiration.